सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज एन एफ पी ए डायमंड एन एफ पी ए इज नेशनल फायर प्रोटेक्शन एसोसिएशन नॉर्मली वाइल वर्किंग इन केमिकल इंडस्ट्री वी यूजली कम अक्रॉस एन एफ पी ए डायमंड लेबल्स विच आर सीन ऑन डोर्स कंप्रेस्ड गैस सिलेंडर्स एंड अदर केमिकल स्टोरेज डिवाइसिस इन अटेंटिवली वी जस्ट इग्नोर दैम ऑल without even knowing the importance of it so let us discuss the importance of nfpa diamond labels what what it indicates in this video now talking about the importance of nfpa diamond nfpa diamond is of great importance in chemical industry because it provides a system for identifying the specific hazard of a material and the severity of hazard that would occur during an emergency response it also alerts emergency responders to the presence of the hazardous material and their potential effects and also helps them plan an appropriate emergency response so now looking forward what does the label indicates so as we see in this picture a rhombus has been divided into four parts and each part has its equal importance the part which is in red color indicates the fire hazard the part which is in blue color indicates the health hazard the part of rhombus which is in yellow color indicates reactivity hazard and the white part with white color indicates specific hazard each part of this rhombus with the colors has number in it from 0 to 4 where 4 is severe hazard 3 is serious hazard 2 is moderate hazard 1 is light hazard and 0 is minimum hazard so mainly each section of the diamond describes the type of hazard by its color and its severity by its by the number in the space so firstly the health hazard is indicated by the blue color and the severity ranges from 0 to 4 where 0 denotes normal material which is non hazardous to our health one in the blue space denotes that the material is slightly hazardous then if the blue space has two in it then it shows hazardous material which means intense or continuous exposure of the material can cause temporary incapacitation or possible residual injury with prompt medical treatment then if the blue space has three number in it which shows that the material is extremely hazardous and even short exposure can cause serious temporary or residual injury even with treatment or can cause to death now lastly if the blue space has four in it denotes the material is extremely hazardous and it is deadly now talking about fire hazard which is denoted by color red here if the red space has number 0 denotes normal material which on exposure to atmosphere will even not burn then if the red space has number 1 in it which denotes material is slightly hazardous and material is having a flash point that is greater than 93.3 degrees celsius and material needs to be preheated before using then if the red space has 2 in it shows that the material is hazardous material and the flash point is between 37.8 degrees celsius and 93.3 degrees celsius and the material needs to be exposed to relatively high ambient temperature before ignition can occur then if it has number 3 in it shows that the material is extremely hazardous and the material can be ignited under all ambient temperature condition now lastly if the number 4 is there in the space red space then the material is extremely hazardous and the material will evaporate at atmospheric temperature and a normal ambient temperature or readily dispersed in air now talking about the reactivity risks which is denoted by color yellow here if the yellow space has number 0 which denotes normal material which means material is non reactive then if the yellow space has 1 in it which denotes material is slightly hazardous and the material is normally stable and may become unstable if normally heated or may react with water but not violently then if the yellow space has 2 in it which shows hazardous material the material is unstable 
and readily undergoes violent chemical changes. Then if the yellow space has 3 in it shows that the material is extremely hazardous and the material is capable of detonation or explosive reaction but requires a strong explosive source. Now lastly if the yellow space has 4 in it denotes the material is extremely hazardous and the material may detonate instantly. Lastly the white space the fourth part of the rhombus describes the specific hazard and PPs. Specific symbols are used to indicate the hazard such as it reacts with water, it is a strong oxidizer, it is corrosive in nature, it is radioactive in nature, it is poisonous to our health. This all can be indicated in the special hazards. Or it is also used to indicate specific personal protective equipments. That is we should use goggles, acid gears, respirators. These two kind of things are been mentioned in the white area that is the fourth rhombus of the NFPA diamond. So guys that's all for this video. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.